Come, 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 guys. First pictures were made by newsreel war correspondents and army and navy cameramen and were specially flown back from Tokyo. Time is 9.05 a.m. The Japanese have been on board exactly 10 minutes. <laughs>
good morning, mahalo to all, and aloha, aloha to everybody. Uh, I can't help but be struck by the twin pillars of this ceremony today. First is the example of the greatest generation here present in the form of uh, Sergeant Fox and Petty Officer Hodges, who have set the example for generations to follow. And then the example of faith and hope in the Texas Children's Choir, whose voices uplifted for the glory of the country uh, really portend nothing but faith and hope for the future of the nation. It's uh, so absolutely fitting that we would see these two twin pillars of what makes the nation and our alliance is absolutely great. I want to thank you all for joining us uh, today to remember uh, this great battle in the Pacific and American history. Many of us here today have family members who fought in that great and terrible war, and the lessons learned that are, that in fact, sustain us here 80 years later. Please join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your forever mercy, your forever grace, and your forever love for us. God, without you, life lacks true purpose and meaning. And so we acknowledge that you are involved in all aspects of our existence. All that we do, all that we say, and all that we think and act upon. God, we give you thanks for the opportunity to honor our brave Battle of Midway veterans and their families. And Lord, we thank you for the sacrifices which turned the tide in World War II and set in motion ultimate victory. God, because of these men, our freedoms have been secured. Because of these men, our nation grew in strength. Because of these men, the world experienced peace. And now, God, comfort our Battle of Midway veterans, their families, and their descendants, and give to them restful sleep and peaceful days. And may we all gratefully remember what they have done for our nation and the entire world. And now, Lord, we ask that you would be with our military members and their families around the globe and protect and guide us all to follow your lead and to do what is right in your sight. It is in your holy name that I pray. And folks, if you agree with this prayer, please say, Amen. Amen. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank
Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your time. Delighted to know you. You did a wonderful job. You did a beautiful job. Thank you so far. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to come all the way over here, no matter what. You were magnificent. Thank you. Hello, y'all. Delighted to know you. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. You can uh, you can see that that one with the uh, the brown one over there is the Disney Alani Resort, and then over here they have a resort that has a wonderful luau, and they have the most beautiful beaches here.
Good job, baby. All right, head on this way, family. So people of Aotearoa, the Maori people, they are known as the warrior nation of Polynesia. And so we're now entering a pa, which is also called a fortified village. Going away in King, I would for no more far, little far of King, Oka Kalari, he hang on us. Okay, for a boy, boy, dear foot, Fala Akuba, Yaman Manway, and Papa, or no King. A woman, but wait a little. Okay, Fala Akuba, Yaman now, cooking is different everywhere. When it comes to cooking, it's different. In, uh, you know, culture is different, food is different. Who does a cook is different. I've learned uh, Japan, the women cook. Korea, the women cook. In China, I was told they take turns. In Samoa, the men cook. You like the ladies? I hope there's no more. So, is that one? There's not one man left there. I was the last one. Don't take your man with you, good luck. <laughs> Not just the men cook, the young men. In Samoa, the young men cook. So it's the fishermen raising animals, plant, harvest, cook the food, and then serve the food in the house. So imagine this in your home. Your young man comes from school, he cooks the food, and then serves it to you. His grandparents, his parents, his sisters eat first. It is the most beautiful part of our culture to see the young men serve the families in great respect. Oh, chicken, so good. Man, Sounds. This sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> now show them how. <laughs>
Like this. 